Hi everyone's Hi everyone's Kesman Classics channel. Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing season review for the Melbourne Football Club at season 2021. Now um did draw one today. I will say this about Melbourne. If you're a return case man class, like a comment. If you're new to channel watching this for the first time, like, comment and subscribe. Um how I did this is pretty simple, yeah. Um talk about the year, positives and negatives, and then I'll go through rate the mountain and why probably what might expect next year. Um the premiers of 2021 had a really good battle. Um, won the first nine games of the season. Um, lost to Adelaide by a point. And obviously losing to us on Queen's birthday at the SCG. So Sydney fans get to witness that um, while we were in lockdown. Um, so, I guess with that you think they've done pretty good. Um, lost to Melbourne. They did beat Hawthorne, but they drew with Hawthorne as well. Um, something that they, you know, got us up putting teams away. The highlights of the positives is pretty simple. They did beat Adelaide. The smart girl cuts off the park. Um, realistically, they beat Hawthorne. Then they beat Essence and Kilda. Um, they beat North Melbourne, which probably like the teams they they should be beating as well. But they did beat Adelaide. Um, at the MCG, they beat Richmond, which is always a positive. And I suppose you look back at now and you go, wow, what a season. Beat the Doggies twice, the grand final included. And obviously at Marvel, um, the, the, the negatives, I think they did beat Paul, I'm pretty sure. They beat Dawn three times. Can you believe it? That is superb. Beat them at the MCG. Beat them in the long, come back from like 40, 40, 40 points down. And to beat them in a prelim final in Perth, the way that they did beat them is fantastic. Like that is an absolute smacking. Um, to, to win it like how they've done it, I, I think that you got to celebrate this. I think you guys celebrate the season and really enjoy it what well you can um I think looking back on it how many games that they've won they've won 17 um Port Adelaide though I think they did the one or they did lose as well um being top eight teams wasn't a problem for them. It's how they played against the other teams. The negative, as I said, um, to lose to Adelaide at the Adelaide Oval, lose to us, which you probably should win. And probably, I would say on top of that, is that you got losing to the Bulldogs. Which again at the MCG, which is Paul joining against the Giants, uh, against um, yeah, losing to the Giants, and then all of a sudden drawing with Hawthorne the second time played against them. Um, it's not that bad of a of a big deal. You think of that, considering that they're premiers. But I think, I think looking back at now, I think it's been a successful season. All teams go through a patch of form 
Uh, Melvin had theirs when they, when they did it. And, and look, the Bulldogs are the same, but the way that the Bulldogs finish off in the grand final is different to how Melbourne perform. The first quarter, four, five, to one, two. Um, the second quarter, you, you can say that Bulldogs jumped them, absolutely jumped them um, as well. Only by eight, only trial by eight points at half time. 17 points down midway through the third quarter to come back like they did and jumped on a seven goal scoring free. The scoring 100 to seven since the 15 minute mark in that third quarter or the 17 minute mark in that third quarter. Um, really a dominating display. The last quarter, Melbourne kicked along and Bulldogs couldn't stop it. Um, Bondapelli's head dropped. Um, Melbourne were just up and about. I guess the whole thing can be behind that. You think if Melbourne allowed one or two more goals, can see you think it's game over. I wasn't willing to um, write off Melbourne um, because I know that with Melbourne they can come back from any margin and. To do what they did, did it for Neil Denneher, did it for like legends like Gary Lyon, Jimmy Steins, and David Neitz, who have been absolute stars. Sasha Robertson is another one. Um, to do it for those guys, I think you'd, you know, you'd be very happy as well on top of that. Now, is it a success? Yes, it is. It is a successful season. No one expected them to finish top of the ladder. The last time a top of the ladder team played in the grand final one was Hawthorne back in 2013. Um, so that's big achievement as itself. So I, I think with that, you look at the negatives, the way that Melbourne have shown at times when they, you know, you had your doubts a little bit, they're always gonna come good in, in the end. And, they certainly have. Um, how do I rate them out of 10? I'm going to give them a 10 out of 10 for this performance. They've done a wonderful job. That grand final, that third quarter, 19 points down. Absolutely blitz that third quarter. And to do it in the last quarter, how some of the players have stepped up. Ben Brown, who came to not like struggled in North Melbourne last year to eventually go into a team who ended up finishing on top of the line and winning the premiership. I think that's all awesome. Bailey Fridge as well. Um, Nathan Jones, one of those players that has been a warrior and, and that premiership's for him as well. Um, Bailey Fridge, six hours two. Um, 39 disposals for <laughs> Christian Petrarca. Um, Clayton Oliver stepped up really well. And it's always good to see that these type of players are stepping up. They're not a bunch of champions teams. They're not relying on one individual. It's a whole team performance. And that back line with Main Lever, who they end up getting um, as well, as intercept markers as they have done, I think that's a really good sign as well. And you expect that performance. Um, so... Well, let me know what you think guys um like comment and subscribe until next time go to the mighty prize i will do more AFL content and until next time bye for now